Hi, I'm Stephen Mirasu with the Stephen Kent Winery. Very excited to be releasing a single vineyard series of Cabernet of ours called the Home Ranch. Home Ranch is a, a vineyard sort of in the middle of the Livermore Valley Appalachian on Tesla Road. It's our oldest site that we've been using. Uh, it's a site that is only 2.8 acres, produces about eight to 10 tons of fruit in any given year. Planted to clone seven or the Concanon clone of Cabernet, which is really the workhorse Cabernet clone in California. 80% of the Cabernet that's grown in California is a, uh, a product of that clone that was brought originally back from Chateau Margaux in the 1870s and then propagated by the Concanon family. Uh, and over time, it, it has been the workhorse clone for, for California Cabernet statewide. It's really one of the treasures of the Livermore Valley. On our site, which is a very rocky site, there was an old river that used to run through this part of Livermore called the Arroyo Mocho River, and it deposited hundreds of feet worth of gravel and rocks on our site. So what we have is soil that's very um, well-drained soil. It's soil that um, reflects heat and sunlight off of rocks up into the undercarriage of the vines, as it were, to make sure that we have beautifully ripe fruit. And uh, this is a wine that we've been making since the, the uh, 2000 vintage. If you hear that noise in the background, that's one of our neighborhood frogs who decided to uh, make itself known in this video. Uh, we produce six different single vineyard Cabernets. I have believed since we started making Cabernet under our label in 1996, that the Livermore Valley was one of the great places in the world, not just in California, but in the world, to grow Bordeaux varieties and to grow specifically Cabernet Sauvignon. The variation of elevation, soil type, the diurnal temperature range that we have in Livermore is practically unknown in, in, in Cabernet Appalachians. You don't get the same kind of effect from, from mid Napa Valley to Calistoga. We have fewer degree days in Livermore. People have this misapprehension that it's extremely hot in Livermore. It's not. It's warm during the day, but in, in the evening, because it's an east-west oriented valley with its mouth pointed at San Francisco Bay, we get this beautiful influx of wind every afternoon that really turns the temperatures down, helps the fruit to maintain acidity at night, so we get beautifully balanced fruit. And in the eastern foothills, where one of our vineyards is, uh, we're, we're harvesting Cabernet there two to three weeks after Napa's done. So we're actually a cooler growing area than the Napa Valley. The Home Ranch Cabernet is one of my favorites of the six. It's typified by um, uh, a beautiful broad expression of fruit in the mouth. It is a, it has its own little terroir in that it's planted right up against the Pepper Tree Horse Farm in Livermore that borders uh, with eucalyptus and, and uh, pepper trees right on the border of our vineyard. So we actually harvest this 2.8 acres in a couple of different sublots because we don't want we want to be able to control how much of that herbal minty kind of quality that one gets in our wines. But that is part of our terroir. It's part of uh, the effect of, of, of the natural environment on the wine itself. So the home ranch usually is typified by a very subtle sort of what I call the home ranch perfume. This, this beautiful kind of minty herbal matrix that adds complexity to the wines. So that's one of the defining characteristics of this particular blend of Cabernet. Uh, from a structural standpoint, the Home Ranch tends to be a very finely focused wine from a tannic standpoint, and it's a wine that, that generally has great acidity showing through, beautiful sort of dark to black fruit notes. As with our style, we're always trying to maintain this beautiful balance of tannin and acid. I think that those two elements together are what allow the wines to age. And I think that, that over time, um, we have seen that, that our Cabernets age beautifully and really effortlessly, if stored properly, for 10 to 20 years. The 16 Home Ranch Cabernet will be released in the first part of May. It's a wine that we made about 125, 150 cases of, so it's not around for very long, but it's one of those wines I think that typifies the world-class quality of the Livermore Valley.